A dose of environment news and an urgent warning about the natural world. The UN has released yesterday a shocking report saying one million species are now under the threat of extinction. And over the last century, the average population size of species in most native habitats on the planet have fallen by more than 20%. The 1500 page report is the most exhaustive look at the decline in biodiversity around the world, and it is getting worse. As a result of global warming, the biodiversity loss is accelerating and will continue to accelerate over the next 30 years. With me now is Christo Fabricius in South Africa. He's a world wildlife expert. Sir, thanks for being with us. Uh, what is the biggest takeaway for you from this alarming report? There's a lot of alarm bells, of course, but which one for you is ringing loudest? Yeah, so there are alarm bells. Uh, of course, the one of the species going extinct is very worrying. But to me, the biggest alarm bell is how this is actually going to impact our well-being and our health on this planet if things continue unchanged. So we know that um, us as humans are really dependent on nature's uh, contributions to our lives. Nature not only contributes to our mental health, it also contributes medicines to our physical health. Diversity of foods are really important. And of course, in developing countries, many people depend on nature for fuel, for, for fresh water. We all depend on nature for fresh water. And that nature provides, at the moment, free services to us, which are not really reflected in normal accounting of, for example, global uh, GDP figures. Um, so so, so that, that the big threat to nature at the moment is land degradation and land transformation, where um, hundreds of thousands of hectares are being transformed to, for food production, really. And, and this is unnecessary food production because it's there. The bulk of that food is used to feed animals for people who eat meat. Uh, Crystal, so, which, which species are most at risk? Perhaps which kinds of habitats, which kinds of environments will really see the most loss as this, because of global warming and other factors in the next few decades? Yeah, the, 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 spe the group of species which are big, uh, ha with the biggest threat is, of course, the, the amphibians, the frogs that are water dependent. They're severely affected by the, the double whammy of climate change and biodiversity loss. And, Generally, our um, aquatic systems, so that, that's freshwater and wetlands, are the most affected parts of the planet. And, the, and then, of course, the, uh, deforestation is occurring at a very fast rate, although that rate is declining slightly in the uh, has been declining slightly in the past decade. So what can we do? What can ordinary people do about it? I mean, there's such alarming statistics here uh, in this, the most exhaustive review of data ever uh, in this UN report. What should we do? Yeah, that's indeed true. And the, the, w there is one scenario, because effectively under all but one scenario, the decline is going to continue. And that scenario, the IPES reports called, calls the scenario for transformative change. So that means that we can't change incrementally. We've, we have to simply make some very drastic shifts in the way uh, we consume in inequality. So, um, you know, we really need to change the ratio where the richest 10% of the world owns so much of global wealth and of course, we've got to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. And, oh. and this can only be achieved if there's a global pact by all people, and, and, and not only leaders, but indigenous people and ordinary people to acknowledge that we are in deep trouble. There is light at the end of the tunnel, but we're going to have to make some serious sacrifices. All right, Christo, and, and, and we really we'll have need to leave to it there. Christo, thank you so much for being with us live for us in South Africa. Appreciate your perspective.